Capricorn, welcome back. So, this is the You versus Them spread. Week of January 14th, Capricorn, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, and next steps are, and then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, and next steps are, and I already got a card out, hold on, Whew. that was fast, um, <laughs> this is a love reading, if you are not interested in love, if you are completely single and don't care about another person, this is not for you, catch me for my uh, general quickie readings, I do those every other week. If you are inter interested in love, then please stay tuned. Um, because this is a general reading, it can go, uh, it can be interchangeable. So keep that in mind, okay? So this is going to be, like I said, for the next two weeks, starting at the week of January 14th. Capricorn, let's see what your overall energy is in love. So you have the um, world card and the four of cups. So, you know, closing out chapters this week. Some of you may be getting uh, attention from a partner that you have maybe felt a little distant from or they've been physically distant from you. Um... But you know what? I've been getting the world card in like every zodiac sign. So there's a really big emphasis on a larger scale about, you know, closing one page, uh, closing one book in your life and opening another one. Not even a chapter. I want to say things are really shifting right now um, in general. So that does not surprise me, Capricorn. Some of you have some gossip going on around your relationship, um, or you could be the one doing this, FYI, that's for a few of you, like water cooler gossip or something, so, um, if that is going on, Capricorn, I feel like you're not giving it much attention. Um person external to you they have the queen of pentacles and then the sun i love that so i feel like this person <clears throat> may be a leo maybe an earth sign don't get caught up on that could be any sign but i'll name them as i see them um they're very focused on the family stability um the day-to-day -day, you know they might be very career oriented as well they may be seeing you in this light. Remember, this can be interchangeable. <clears throat> but they have the sun here, which, you know, is all about illumination, too. Remember, I said there was some gossip going on. That may be illuminated this week. Um, but for most of you, your partner's in a very positive energy. Um, they may be trying to be more positive. They see things in a brighter way, particularly when it comes to their career. But this is a love reading, so it could just be about the relationship, how you view them. What I just say, there might have been, like I said, some like talking gossipy type energy here, all right? Because you see your partner is walking away from that, all right? Walking away from conflict. Um, being more decisive in the next two weeks. Um, and then you have the moon in the reverse, which is all about, um, secrets, secrets being kept hidden. person external, how they view you, Capricorn, how they view you, So I 
of Justice, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Um, they're, you know, they see you trying to gain. You are also in a more decisive energy, balancing out your own, um, emotions. They also see you as walking away as well. I'm, I'm definitely getting two groups of you, so stay tuned. Because <laughs> it's going to get more detailed in a minute. Um, they, they see you also as maybe kind of looking back on the past, um, walking away from past hurt, but they also see you as the Ace of Pentacles, which, uh, for a few of you, they see you walking away from a prior commitment. Okay. And that's what I, this is this probably going to be the second group of you. Um, but some of them don't see you walking away from that. They see you walking away from past hurt and recommitting having an, uh, a commitment with them and I feel like if that's you then it's um it's in a very positive light the way that they view you next steps Capricorn So Capricorn, in your next steps, you have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, there's... There is a very strong message about conversations. And I got something like a very weird message in a Capricorn's either last reading or it was like a midweek about watching your communication. And so I feel like, you know, in your next steps, Capricorn, um, You might be thinking about what your next steps are, what your next directions are, actually. Um, like I said, there's an ending to one chapter of your life. Uh, walking away from past hurt, recommitting to a partner or yourself. You know, you might be consulting friends on this or your partner if you're in a committed relationship. But there is a very logical, cerebral energy about you This these next two weeks, Capricorn, where you may be um, not so in tune with the emotional aspects of you. I feel like some of you are conflicted. It's like your partner is trying to reconnect with you. They're trying to be positive, stay committed to the relationship. But it's just like maybe that's not where your focus is right now. Because in their next steps, they also have the two of wands. So you have a repeating card. You have the two of wands as well. Then the hermit and the reversed secrets coming out. I'm telling you, there's another group of you, so just hold on. Uh, the Magician in the Reverse. Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like you both know where you want to go in the relationship, but just not quite ready to make the moves yet. All right? Trying to be happy with where you're at. I also feel like if this person's been a little bit to themselves, the person external to you, I see them in a more extroverted more positive energy uh, coming up here in the next two weeks um, because I, it looks like that they have been 
keeping things to themselves and I see that they're going to be more open with you. Um, but there's something that's not, it's not quite time for it yet. You know, so, uh, something that, you know, is on hold even. Um, this person may also be highly focused on, like I said, career. So I feel like both of you, it's, it's like a normal relationship. <laughs> What's normal? I mean, whatever. But, and there's love here, you know, there's, there's a, an attempt to, like, when you are with each other, to be there with each other, but also your, both of your brains are somewhere else, like this person, I see like a very high focus on the career sector, and then you, you're just in a very more logical, cerebral type energy versus like an emotional, mushy energy, does that make sense? So that's one group of you. If that resonated, great. But there's another group of you where there's been some secrets, uh, gossip. Um, <clears throat> somebody walked away from this relationship. All right. Definitely. Most definitely. Both of you might have walked away from each other. And it might have been what the gossip was about was that this person had a commitment somewhere else or you did or maybe you both did. Um and if this is your scenario, Capricorn, then I feel like the person external to you is trying to find happiness with where they're at. But I feel like they're having a lot of difficulty um, being able to manifest that, bring that uh, to fruition right now. Um, if they had another commitment in another relationship, I feel like they're more focused on actually being independent of that. Um, so they, like, you know... Um, and it's not all of you does this other person have another relationship. They may be single and that's where their focus is. They're single. They walked away. You walked away. There was too much conflict. There was too much indecisiveness, too much being withheld, not talked about, gossip. Um, for a few of you, the justice system was involved. Um, and you know. They're looking at their next steps. You're looking at your next steps. And that's where the focus is. Capricorn, if this is your situation, you might, you know, still be stuck in your head about this person. You, For a few of you, you may feel like this person used you, like, for sex. <laughs> or like it was just, there was something sneaky about them. Or <clears throat> that's for a few of you. It's not all of you. Like they got one over on you or something. Um, because I do see that for some of you, this person can be uh, have manipulative tendencies as well. And if this is your situation, I feel like this person has kept to themselves or you have not been in communication with them. But I feel like, like I said, they're going into a more action-oriented energy, so they may resurface. That doesn't mean that they're going to come back to you or contact you. I don't actually see that. But I just see if they've been, like, keeping things to themselves, if they have social media, they may not be posting on it or whatever. Like, their energy may resurface on an energetic level, even. Um, because I see them coming out of that. So, a few different sets of you there. <laughs> Hopes and fears. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three of Swords. Like I said, for those of you in the second group, I feel like there was definitely another person involved. For a, even fewer of you, both of you are in a relationship. But... There was definitely some heartache here. And I feel like, Capricorn, if that was your scenario, for some reason, you know, you're, like I said, it's still in your thoughts. It's still in your energy. You still haven't let go of it on, um, on that level, okay? 
if you're in the first scenario where the relationship goes in and out, I feel like it goes in and our, your focus may be somewhere else also because there might have been heartache and pain that one or both of the parties is having trouble getting over that happened, you know, it doesn't even have to be recent. And then the Hierophant in the reverse for the person external hopes and fears. Like I said, some of you have separated, left this person. They've left you. They're focused on their singlehood. You're focused on yours. But yet, you're still in each other's energy, which means you're both still vibrating at the same frequency. You're both still thinking about each other. So, you know... <laughs> <clears throat> Their hope is to stay single and independent for now, though, because I feel like that's where their focus is. And if you're in the first scenario where you're still in a relationship, it's relatively healthy. I feel like this person is not ready for commitment yet. Because for some reason, they feel like they see you wanting commitment. For those of you in a relationship, but they're not ready yet. They're not ready to manifest that. They're not ready to let go of their singlehood, their independence just yet. So. Let's get one overall message for you, Capricorn. And by the way, that, that's even if you're married. You know, because say you're in the first group and you're married to this person. Their focus is not necessarily on the union. Their focus is on their independent activities. Everybody has independent activities because you're not a combined person. You know, and so I feel like that's where their focus is, by the way. <clears throat> And as I say that, their focus is on themselves. So is yours. Improving health. Health has been coming up in Capricorn's reading for a long time. So uh, pay attention to that. I get that card a lot for you guys. And it's either you or the person external to you that needs to hear that message. But also improving the health of the relationship. Um, and peaceful resolution for those of you in the second scenario. Where, you know, you walked away from this person. They walked away from you. I feel like right now there's probably no communication. Um, <clears throat> but um, a lot of thinking about it because I feel like one or you or the other party wants, they still need closure of some sort. Like I said at the very beginning, closing one chapter, opening another. So... Let me tell you the zodiac signs I have here, and if don't get caught up on them, if it resonated, it's for you. But I have Taurus here, I have Virgo, I have an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Pisces, um, possibly a Cancer, Scorpio. Isn't that all of them? I think it is. <laughs> so, I wish you the very best, Capricorn. Let me know how that resonated. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, namaste.